camping above the clouds. That is at Lake Willoughby in Vermont. Such a oh. gem of a spot. Gosh, it's so cool. Where is this one at? This is at Lover's Key. It's right on the bridge going over to Sanibel. Oh, right. Man, I wish we were there right now. Sedona. Remember when we rode that one time? Yeah. We rode all the way around and then we got stuck back in there. Shadow Mountain, Jackson Hole. Over the last year, um, my family and I have traveled over 30,000 miles across America. So I think that was literally like four times across and then once top and bottom. Um, and it was wild and crazy and super fun. And now we're back home. We're kind of entering a different phase of life. You know, the kids are in school, I'm working, um, and it's a, it's a big, been a big change for us. And the kids definitely, they missed home a lot. They missed our house, they missed their friends. You know, I think it's, on the road, it was like this tight little family unit. And then we get back here, they have their friends. And so, you know, they're pretty stoked to be back home and, and back in school. We got our Airstream uh, right when the pandemic was starting, you know, and uh, the idea was to do these really long road trips. What we started to realize was um, these things are really versatile, you know what I mean? You can use it as an extra bedroom, you know, at the house, or you can, you know, do these weekend getaways, you know, and right now, you know, and I have it in the backyard as my office, you know, and it really allows me to have my own space um, and get my work done. You know, these days we're, we're all about these short trips, you know, maybe an hour or half an hour from the house. A lot of the times I'll go out early and set up camp and spend the day working, you know, and um, man, having your office wherever you want in the middle of nowhere is, is really amazing, you know, especially as a creative. I get kind of locked into my work and, and really like focused on what I'm doing and every once in a while I'll look up and you know the lights changed and something's happened and it's just you know head splitting and I got to go outside and I just open the door and walk out and and it kind of gives you a reset and then to have your family show up you know and and spend a couple of days together uh, off the devices away from screens, kind of living in the moment, uh, has really been amazing. This is super important to us. We've always wanted to raise kids that were close to the land, you know, and now that we're back from this adventure, you know, we still want to have that time, you know, and those short strikes, uh, those little weekend getaways are very important, you know, because there's those magical little moments that happen. And if you stay grounded, you're not gonna miss them.